All right, let's check on a car crash now. Mike has the latest in Sky 5. Andy, we actually have breaking news here out of South Suburban. We're in the area of Country Club Hills heading down to Matson. We've got a high-speed pursuit here. Uh, the person that they're looking for here in this black Chevy, a stolen vehicle with a window shot out. They've been pursuing this vehicle now for the better part of about 15 minutes. Southbound in the cornfield here, right by Harlem Avenue, heading towards US 30. This pursuit's gone about 40, 50 miles per hour. Several officers are joining in here. So we're about a mile west of I-57. This vehicle is heading southbound. These are side streets, people, with about 20 to 30 mile an hour. Now we're going south on Ridgeland, south on Ridgeland here. And uh, this is a pursuit. They'll be heading towards US 30. So if you are a south suburban commuter, you normally head near US 30 in Ridgeland. Use a lot of caution. This vehicle is picking up speed here. That window is shot out. They're looking for a suspect who stole a vehicle and now heading southbound Do on Ridgeland Avenue, south US 30. Okay, Mike. So, listen. Kai, this is going to keep going. Mike, we're here. We're watching this with you right now. And so what we're wondering is when did you first pick this up? What was happening? Well, the Illinois State Police have a network where they put out uh, basically where they're looking for vehicles that are on the go. Now, about 15 minutes ago, you saw us, uh, that accident at Volmer Road. We picked up that they were looking for this vehicle. The uh, Chicago District of the State Police found this vehicle, and we picked it up a few minutes later. Now it's traveling about 60, 70 miles per hour southbound on Ridgeland Avenue. It left US 30 a few minutes ago. Uh, there were about five officers in high-speed pursuit about to hit the intersection of Sock Trail, and this could get dangerous, narrowly missing an accident there. The vehicle keeps going southbound on Ridgeland. Now, the further south you get in this area, south of Ridgeland Avenue, south of Sock Trail, this gets wide open, people, and you're going to be dealing with a vehicle that's going to be at a very high speed. The uh, officers now are about a good quarter mile behind them. So we're traveling southbound on Ridgeland Avenue. We Mike, just crossed Sock Trail Road. Yes, Mike, I'm listening. It, it looks like there's only one person in that vehicle. Can you tell if there's any anybody else inside that vehicle? The way they have described this in the search, there is one person. You can see the driver's side window is actually shot out. Uh, one person who stole this vehicle that they're searching for. So from what they've described, and again, we, this is just from the scanner traffic, what's called the Isburn Illinois State Police Emergency Response Network. They've only described one person, the driver, the suspect that they are looking for that stole this vehicle that is now southbound on Ridgeland. Uh, we're coming up on another interchange here pretty soon, and I-57 is very, very close to this. We're about a half a mile west. 57. Yeah. So there is a chance that this vehicle could take it to the expressway. Uh, they continue, though, south on I-57, well south of Sock Trail Road. Uh, so we're going to be heading down to the bradley Bourbonnais area pretty Mike, soon. I know now, that oh, you're on a really, really close shot there, and you're talking about the police that are behind them. Can we look at a little bit wider are shot they, are they keeping so that the we can get yeah, a better perspective of that? That would be great. And maybe also see, wow, see what's in front of that vehicle, which it looks like no one, luckily, as he's making no, this chase. We, we don't want to lose the vehicle. And the police, unfortunately, they've been trying to chase this vehicle. It's really picked up speed wow, here, yeah. southbound on Ridgeland, heading towards I-57. And uh, as we look out the window, there really aren't any police within about a good half a mile of this vehicle. I They're communicating you with going. each other. How, how fast do you think that guy's going, Mike? Based on how fast we're going right now, I would say about 80 to 90 miles an hour. There's another interchange here uh, near the Crete Moni Road and I-57. He's about to come up. There's a semi in front of this. Uh, again, uh, caution for people who are watching here. This can result in an accident Whoa. pretty quickly. Now he crosses yeah. Crete Moni Road. Well, Try to turn. Oh, and there's the accident. All right, All right okay. so here's the accident. I believe we're at Crete Moni Road. Uh, the okay, vehicle involved in the accident. Now you've He's got the person foot. who was in the vehicle. This is the suspect that they were looking for and his hands heading on his eastbound belt there, so be towards I-57.
we got to be careful with the camera shot here because, okay, he's taking his sweatshirt off, running through a field. We trying to get the sweatshirt up. That car crashed and tried to make the turn there at the intersection. It looked like the one person who was in that car bailed and is now running. I think you made a really good point, Stefan, here. He keeps on holding yeah. on to something right around his waist. We're not sure what that is. Um, and, and, Mike, how far are police from this guy right here? The right police now? are coming in right now. The, the police are coming in right now. Uh, He's on we don't want to lose the now. shot of this person. And uh, hopefully, now it's into a, basically you can see a field with a lot of trees. We are near the expressway. We're okay, just west of I 57 here by Crete uh, Moni Road. Uh, we're not sure if this person okay, is kind of injured. Uh, it now it looks like he may be exhausted, and yeah, the uh, suspect smart. may have been injured. And the uh, person on right, the ground, it looks the like tape. the pursuit has come to an end here. Wow. Uh, again, we've got state troopers, and we had a lot of folks. Uh, this started in the Country Club Hills area and uh, has come to an end here. We're near Crete Money Road. We are just west of I-57. This pursuit has come to an end. And again, another dangerous situation. We saw this on the west side last year. No accidents involved, fortunately, and uh, no serious injuries as the arrest is made here on Crete Money Road. We are just west of I-57. Mike, we really appreciate you staying on this. This has been just remarkable to watch happen live here on television. If you could just recap one more time before we go to break here exactly where this started and how it ended here. Sounds like it started just west of I-57 near Volmer Road. We were covering an accident there, and again, we heard that Isburn alert that they put out to all of the local officers here to pursue that vehicle. Willow is located about a half a mile west of 57 in Volmer. They said the car was driving erratically. They were looking for a suspect who had stole the vehicle and a black Chevy. They picked up that vehicle driving, and then once that vehicle got south on Ridgeland, hit about 80, 90 miles an hour, heading all the way south from the area of about 183rd, must have gone a good five miles down here near the Crete Money area, tried to go left to get onto I-57, and uh, fortunately that vehicle involved in an accident, and even though the person is still walking, came very close to getting to I-57, ended here in the field. We're we're able to get the suspect in custody, Crete Money Road. We are just west of Interstate 57. It was just an incredible moment there. It was really great to see at the end how he gave up and he got on the ground so police could come in and arrest him. It um, looked like they we were, were so far behind. Yeah. The, the concern was whether or not officers were going to be there close enough to make that arrest. But you can see officers with the Madison Police Department surrounding that wooded area right there, that area of trees which we saw the, the person from the car, that black Monte Carlo, trying to make that left turn at the intersection. And what you estimated, Mike, around 80 miles an hour, clearly didn't make it. The car went right off the side of the road and into a ditch. No, I'm guessing uh, since I-57 was so close, maybe that was the plan. And once that car would have gotten south on I-57, it could have been really dangerous. And again, we saw try to make that left turn from Ridgeland to go to Crete Money, possibly to I-57, and going at that high rate of speed, at least 80, 90 miles an hour, uh, wasn't able to do that. The accident ensued, went into the field, and that's when the uh, person they were chasing decided to get out of that vehicle, run through the field, may have been injured from the accident, and basically just ran out of breath, fortunately gave himself up, and uh, nobody yeah. else was seriously injured in a situation that could have been very dangerous, not only for the police, but for anybody who was driving in the area. Well, a lot of misses there also, as we were watching you there in Sky 5, as he was blowing through all of those lights and all of the oncoming traffic. I mean, it's just a miracle that a major accident wasn't caused there. Peaceful resolution. Really was, yeah, really was the ride. We saw, especially uh, when he was coming south uh, towards Sock Trail Road, there was a semi crossing east and westbound. Wow. Luckily, uh, this is kind of an open area with fields where people can see the traffic coming from the other direction. That semi able to see the vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed southbound, so it was able to pull up, and uh, that vehicle and the police able to get through southbound on Ridgeland. And again, uh, ending with the person in custody here, and it looks like no serious injury. Very, very fortunate situation given how a high rate of speed this chase was. Mike, we are so lucky yeah. to have you watching from Sky 5. Thank you so much for that. Um, of course, we're going to continue to monitor the story, the developments, the backstory to all of this, and bring that to you um, in all of our news updates.